Cheney is saying that it was a huge mistake, huge mistake for Palin to be chosen as a VP uh, for old Tom McCain, who should have stayed in the shoe business. I'm joking, of course. I would argue that Dick Cheney was a bigger mistake than Sarah Palin. I would say that Dick Cheney was the biggest mistake in the history of the vice presidency. I would say that next to uh, Joe Biden, Dick Cheney is the biggest laughing stock in the history of the vice presidency. Now, why would Dick Cheney suddenly decide that he should take a swing at Sarah Palin before taking an even bigger swing at President Obama on Monday? Why? Why would Cheney say that? He said, I met her, I know her, but based on her background, she'd only been governor for, what, two years? I don't think she passed that test of being ready to take over the president, uh, the presidency, and I think that was a mistake. Well, some would argue that he was the biggest mistake of all. He got us into uh, Iraq based upon a false premise that the only person who, who believed he was telling the truth was Wallbanger on Fox News, the man who never went past, uh, let us say, contracting school, yet he poses as a great intellect. That's right, Wallbanger on Fox News loved Dick Cheney. Wallbanger still thinks we liberated Iraqis. Wallbanger and the whole Fox gang thinks that the Iraq war was fun and wonderful. But every time you think about Cheney's war, the Iraq war, you should recognize that the only people who benefited from the Iraq war was the Halliburton subsidiary, K. Kellogg Brown and Root, which made about $10 billion for its superb work in Iraq. So all those soldiers who lost their arms, legs, and eyes got killed in the war that Bush and Cheney started. Well, some people think that KK uh, Kellogg Brown and Root made a killing. That's good, isn't it? Cheney ought to be quiet and disappear. Cheney has no right to say Palin was a big mistake because Cheney, by the way, was the biggest mistake in history.